Today, we're doing a deep dive on McLean, Virginia, another great D.C. suburb in Northern Virginia. We're going to cover McLean's history, what it's like to live in McLean. We're also going to cover the affordability, if there is any, the lifestyle, and McLean real estate. This in-depth approach will allow us to compare McLean to the surrounding cities in the DMV area. So if you're thinking about moving to McLean or simply want to know more about the area, this is the video for you because we're covering everything you need to know about McLean, Virginia. McLean is located between the Potomac River and Vienna, just north of Arlington, northwest of Washington, D.C., and just across the Potomac from Bethesda, Maryland. McLean is also a neighbor of Tyson's Corner, which is one of the fastest growing business districts in the country. Tyson's is actually Virginia's largest office market and what they call the nation's largest suburban business district. It has over 26,000 square feet of office space. It is actually the nation's 12th largest business district overall and is expected to grow quite substantially in the years to come. There are a lot of major companies headquartered in Tyson's, many with McLean mailing addresses. So whether Tyson's is nearby or they're merged together a, a bit, Tyson's impacts and makes McLean's job market incredibly strong. 495, the Capitol Beltway cuts right through McLean and you can use it to get into Maryland or south to Vienna and the rest of Fairfax. 66 will take you east into Arlington or west you can go out to Ashburn and Leesburg. George Washington Memorial Parkway starts in McLean, follows along the Potomac, and will bring you into Arlington. If you want to go downtown to DC to see the National Monuments, that'll be 15 minutes. If you want to go to Old Town Alexandria to walk along the waterfront or take a boat ride, it'll be about 25 minutes. And if you want to catch an international flight, you're about 17 minutes from Dulles Airport. And if it's a domestic flight, you can go to Reagan National, which is about 16 minutes away. Now, I share these heavily frequented areas because if you live in McLean, at some point you're going to want to go downtown to D.C. and take advantage of the great museums and national monuments on the mall. You're going to want to take a tour, spend an evening strolling along the streets of Old Town. And you're going to want to catch a flight. But to give you a better sense of what the average commute looks like for residents of McLean, just know that the average commute is 29 minutes, which is more than the national average of 26, but less than the average for the D.C. area, which is 43. Now that we know where McLean, Virginia even is, I want to introduce you to my channel, Julie Grand Real Estate, the go-to real estate channel for the D.C. area. I'm Julie Grandin, your local realtor, able to help you get the very most out of your transaction, whether you're buying or selling a home. We're on a mission to reach every DMV resident. So if you could hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, it would really go a long way to help us out. So let's get back to McLean because that's what you came here for. McLean is one of 25 cities in the very large Fairfax County. Fairfax has a population of 1.17 million, which makes it the largest county in Virginia. Of course, McLean with just over 50,000 people is only a small part of that. McLean is 24.88 square miles. During the Civil War, Fort Marcy, now Fort Marcy Park, and its counterpart in Arlington, Fort Ethan Allen, were hastily planned and built to protect the chain bridge approach to Washington, D.C. Fort Marcy Park is now one of the best preserved sites from that era today. The community received its name from John Roll McLean, former publisher and owner of the Washington Post. Said of McLean, it is simply a community that sporadically developed around a trolley stop. In 1902, McLean and Senator Stephen Elkins had put together a simple business venture to promote the scenic beauty of the Great Falls of the Potomac and they ran a 14-mile line between Roslyn in Arlington and Great Falls Park in order to link it with D.C. Because it was so close to Washington, D.C., the Pentagon, and housed the Central Intelligence Agency, it is now home to many diplomats, military, members of Congress, and other high-ranking government officials. Along with being home to historic landmarks and attractions such as Hickory Hill, an estate owned by members of the Kennedy family for many years, Alden Theater, Great Falls Park, which is another place that has a McLean address, but looks to me more like it's in Great Falls. McLean is often distinguished by its luxury homes, shopping destinations, Tyson's Corner Mall, and the very high-end Tyson's Galleria. Home to stores like Gucci, Prada, Saks, and Coach. Just a side note, Great Falls, Virginia has a population of just under 16,000 and is 15 miles from D.C., is located north of McLean, and is highly residential, and apparently consists of all of the land around and up to, but not including, Great Falls itself. Just want to touch on Great Falls because I'll include it in the real estate portion, but it is such a small town, it may not make it into my everything you need to know about series. McLean has many top private employers, Capital One Bank, General Dynamics, Northrop Grumman, 
Freddie Mac, and Hilton, as well as many others. And top government employers are the CIA, as we mentioned, the National Counterterrorism Center, and the Farm Credit Administration. To add a little context to McLean, I want to introduce an external resource, Niche.com, which interprets millions of public data points across the country. Taking a look at its report card, you can see McLean received an A plus from Niche, based on the 12 categories that you see here. It's also ranked as number one best schools in Fairfax County, as well as number two best schools in Virginia, the number eight best city to raise a family, and number 12 best place to retire. Now that's what the algorithm has to say, but what do current residents have to say about living in McLean? According to 123 reviews, McLean got 4 out of 5 stars. Now this report on McLean is very comprehensive, so I'll put a link to it down below for your review. Now, for the recreation scene in the plane, 66% of its residents live within a 10 minute walk from a park. The national average is 55%. Now this may seem low when you look at neighboring cities like Arlington and DC, which both have a 99%. But to be fair, some of the houses in McLean have so much land that they're not really considering walking to a park from their home. Now trails are more your speed. There are 65 bike routes in McLean. Many are hilly and meant for enjoying nature, not necessarily commuting to work. But there is certainly a lot to do on your bike in McLean. McLean has beautiful parks such as Scott's Run Nature Preserve, Turkey Run Park, Clem John Tree Park, which was designed and opened recently to be fully accessible so that all kids can enjoy any part of the park. So now onto my favorite category, the real estate situation, which does affect you whether you rent or you own. Here's a look at home prices over the last decade. They've gone up pretty steadily and the median home price at this point in McLean is $1.323 million. Now that we know the median home price in McLean is just over $1.3 million. Let's compare that to other cities in the area. Great Falls is 1.6 million. Wolf Trap is 1.1 million. Vienna is just over 1 million. Potomac is 1.285. Bethesda is 1.242. Falls Church is 775,000. Arlington is 795,000. Wow, some of these other cities make Arlington look cheap and Washington DC is 695000 Now let's see what you can get for that just over $1.3 million in McLean. So definitely a nice wide range of options. By the time that you watch this video though, chances are those homes have already sold. But no worries, if you'd like the most current list of our preferred homes available right now while you're watching it in McLean, Virginia, you can click the link in the description below. Now let's take a look at the cost of living. Overall, McLean's cost of living is 49% higher than the average in the US. Groceries are 18% more. Utilities are actually a little bit less. Transportation's 25% more. Miscellaneous is 47.8% more, but the big one is housing, which is 391 times the national average. To live comfortably in McLean, it is recommended that a family have an income of $227,000 or $90,000 for a single person. Now you may be thinking with all that wonderful nature, job opportunities, and great shopping, McLean is the place for me. If that's you, congratulations. I'm happy you can start working on a plan. I invite you to reach out to me so I can help you get started. You can call, text, or email. My contact information is down below. If you're still undecided, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon because we'll be coming out with videos a lot like this for other nearby cities very soon. And you'll want to make sure that you check out these two cities, but whatever you do... Mama, stop real quick. I just finished.